I want to get a, I want to get into suppressors. Clear, clear. I wanted to get into suppressors, and I thought about suppressing this IWI Zion 12 and a half inch, or getting a cheap PSA 10 and a half inch because I saw one on another another page, and I thought, well, if I get a 10 and a half inch and I put a six inch <coughs> suppressor, excuse me, damn. If I put a six inch suppressor on there, they look like they're about six inches, five inches, whatever. Then that'll give me 15, 16 inches. But I got some learning to do because I have no idea how suppressors mount to, to the barrels. I don't know if I have to replace this, replace this with another one. And I would, I was, I'm really intimidated by that for some reason. I don't know what it is when it comes to nine millimeters. Glocks, for example, like my 19, I know I can just buy a, a, a barrel, get it off the Glock store, a threaded barrel, and I could screw on any kind of suppressor, nine millimeter, real easy. I want to suppress my 19 or suppress my 43X or maybe get a 45 and suppress that because it's got the shorter, the shorter slide. That's not, I'm not worried about that at all, but for some reason, suppressing AR pistols intimidates me. I don't know. I don't know what it is, man. I have no idea. It's just a brain thing. But I do want to get into suppressing. And I definitely want to suppress this or something along these lines. And then I want to get a Unity Riser. So I want to try that out. But I know the, the, the tax stamp is going to cost me $200. i have seen people, different people give different times. I've seen people get their shit back in 90 days. I've seen people get their shit back in 11 months. I'm going to try to kind of figure out how to get sh my shit back in 90 days. And I'm probably going to spend too much money on my first suppressor because I'm just going to get the nicest one I can find instead of trying to save money and, and fucking my shit blow up on the range and me be looking like a dumbass because my shit is not, you know, correct or it's not it's some cheap. To me, I only go cheap if I only go cheap if I know what the fuck I'm doing. You know, I buy cheap flip flops because I know what to look for. I know if that little that little piece that goes in between your toe is not firm, then then you, you, you're going to be butt ass naked out there with your feet. So I don't go cheap unless I really know what I'm talking about. First time I do something, I usually just spend more than I should because I'm trying to learn. But I hope I could find something that will just lock on to this. I mean, that would be cool, but I doubt it. But when people start talking about the the muzzle devices, man, I'm so calm, blah, blah. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. So I have to, I really have to look into that. Yeah, grilling. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for excuses to buy guns again. This is the pattern I'm in. You don't, <laughs> hell yeah. I'm sitting here saying, I don't know if I want this. I don't want that. Yeah, that's how it always starts. You're right. And I'm trying to decide if I want to go back into, into that because I'm in this cycle of, buy it, build, put all the clothes on it. I couldn't wait to get, I could, like this PDP, for example, clear. I couldn't wait to get the, the plate, the optic, the sights, put the light on there. And now that it's finished, I almost feel like, all right, well, what's next? On to the next. It's weird. It's, it's almost like just putting all the clothes on it is the point. It's not actually owning the gun. It's just buying it, putting the shit together, Shooting it a couple times and then, eh, you know, whatever. On to the next. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, girl. And I guess I'm, I'm looking for, I'm looking for excuses. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. Tanisha. If I sell first, first of all, thanks for being here, Tanisha. I think you might be one of one females that actually respond if if your if your name is actually Tanisha it, you know your name might be like James or something and you might be catfishing me I don't know but if you are your name is Tanisha and you are a female I appreciate you because I think you're the only female that's in here if I if I got rid of this I don't know what I'd get next I have I have no idea somebody mentioned I think it was uh Jay Press who mentioned the the uh Shadow systems, which is, looks nice. Shadow systems do look nice. I like, I think I can mount a Holosun directly to the, 
I think it has suppressor height sights, direct mount for a Holosyn RMR. It's already stippled. It basically feels like a Glock with everything done to it. And I think Shadow Systems, I think they'll replace it. I'm not sure. If I'm wrong, who gives a fuck? You know, go look, Google this shit yourself. But I think Shadow Systems will replace it if you, if I lose it in a self-defense shooting, if it's confiscated or whatever. So I, I think, uh, I think that, you know, that'd be a good buy. Probably about a grand, something like that. I don't know. This is a great firearm. You know, I don't know why I'm not, I don't know why I don't feel satisfied, but I just don't feel, I don't feel satisfied. It's, I, it's, I don't know why this isn't enough, but we'll see. Maybe I'll try the X300 first. I'm going to sell some lights. I'm actually going to sell some, some lights. I think I can talk about selling lights. I'm going to sell these three lights. I'm going to sell the Olight PL Pro. I'm going to sell the TLR H1. And I'm going to sell the Olight PL Mini. Uh, what would be best if I could just trade these for an X300? But I'm probably going to have to sell them and buy an X300. But these are the lights I'm, I'm selling. With the These two come with chargers. This one is a battery, so no charger. But I'm going to sell those. See, put the X300 on this. See how I feel about it. I might even want to put the X300 on this. But... I just like, I, I like how this looks. It's, it's all even as opposed to, I don't like, I, I don't like, I'm not liking this as much. This kind of chunky on the end and thin here, it kind of feels like a flashlight, you know, that, that part of it, I don't like, but I do like the switching system. So I don't know. I don't know. Just in that mood, man. Sometimes it, it's like that sometimes where. I don't know, don't know exactly where to go Let go next, but grilling is probably right. Where I'm going is probably back to the gun store. <laughs> See you later.